Okay, the horses have been grazing in this field for a few weeks. And they are now going back to the sweet spots after the rain. So I want, after that torrential rain, I want to give this paddock time to recuperate. So I'm going to go down and check a paddock that they left. I think about six weeks ago, five, six weeks ago. Could be longer, I can't remember. Anyway, they're looking glossy. Look at that, glossy and healthy, aren't you? Aren't you guys? How are you, Miss Daisy Rose? Yes, how are you? How are you? You good girl, how are you? Yes, you sniffing Inca. Okay, I think I'm gonna move you, but I wanna check the field first that I'm gonna be moving, poor paddock, I'm gonna be moving them into. Now, they're not going into this paddock here because there's a lot of stuff that I want to self-seed. Not the thistles necessarily, but there's other legumes and herbs and like trefoils and sandfoin and look at the butterfly. There you go. Another reason why you have to leave grass as long is for the butterflies to lay eggs. So there's not too many thistles. There's a clump of thistles right there. But there's a lot of other grasses and herbs. There's another butterfly right in there. I don't know if the video can see it. But they're all flying around the grasses laying eggs. So, um, Oh, more. Oh, look, loads of butterflies. Oh, that's lovely to see. Lots of butterflies. Okay, so no animals are going to go into this field until probably this autumn or even winter into this paddock, this particular paddock. So I'm trying to keep this free of animals, grazing animals, so that things can uh, reseed and recuperate. You can see there's yarrow in bloom there. More butterflies, lots of butterflies. Oh, this is brilliant. And there's lots of smaller ones when I'm walking through here, little white ones and brown ones. Now, sadly, when I sowed this, we had hardly any rain after I sowed this. So it hasn't taken, a lot of docks and thistles have taken, but uh, this winter, hopefully, this will be bale grazed again. I'm being accompanied by a horse. Yes, my beautiful girl. One day I'll be able to ride you again when my neck is better. Anyway, um, yeah, so hopefully the seed bank in there will rejuvenate. There's another butterfly just stopping down on the grass. I don't know if you can see it. Oop, and they're flying around my head. Wow, they're everywhere. Okay, so the paddock that I want to put the horses in is down here. And half of this paddock, they haven't been in for rising on two months, I think. So I'm not letting them out through this. I'm gonna let them out down there. But here, this paddock here, they haven't been here for a long time. And they were more recently on that side. This was split in half. There's one half there, one half here. So I'm gonna split it in half again so that they graze this half and leave that half alone. Well, I'm gonna walk it now and check it out. Isn't that right? You know something's up. You know it's paddock moving day because of the rain. So they've all followed me thinking I'm letting them out this gate. Afraid not, ladies. Look, she's eating a thistle very carefully. There you go. You clever girl, eating a thistle. Oh, and another thistle. Oh no, you're not gonna pick that one up? Oh, she is picking that thistle up. Look at that. 
She's eating a thistle. And they say horses don't eat thistles. And just saying, there's plenty of grass here. Oh, look who's come to join us. There's plenty of grass in here. <laughs> Woo! Mustard, you being a true farm cat. And let's see if there's any dung beetles here. Yes, kitty. There's probably dung beetles because there's there are loads of them. Look at them all. Woohoo! Big fat chunky ones. Yep, loads of dung beetles. And so just what we want to see. Yes, kitty. Okay, now to do some fencing. So I am going to fence off just a small paddock in this paddock for the horses because I don't want them in here for very long and for a very small portion of it. But what I see is just for you to understand is you see the dark spot there, the dark spot there, the dark spot. You see those dark spots? Those are where the horse peed. And when I look closer at the herb varieties that are in there, in here, there's white clover. Yes, there's buttercup. There's grasses, there's, um, this is sanfoin, this is one grass type here, another grass type here, another grass type here. Uh, come over here a little bit, and this is a different kind of clover because you can tell the white bit in it is different. Then there's, this is one kind of dandelion, and then over here, oh, here's another kind of dandelion. This is, you can see the leaf di is different here. And this is another kind of dandelion, the leaf different here. So these are all, and you see there's more dandelions, clovers, uh, yarrow, here's yarrow. That's yarrow there. That's really good for worming with tannins in it. Uh, so there's a good mixture of all kinds of things here. There's dock. Another thing good for, um, cause it has tannins in it and it's deep rooted. So it's got minerals and the horses eat those. When artificial fertilizer is used, this tastes bitter and livestock don't like eating them. Sheep will when they're young with artificial fertilizer, but cows and horses will leave it. But once the artificial fertilizer is off the land, they will eat the docks because it has deep roots and vitamins and minerals. Oh, here's another bit of sanfoin. There you go. So I'm basically only going to give them a paddock from, I'm going to build a fence across here, an electric fence, and get them out of that paddock. So they're going to go around here, down this alleyway and into here. And then tomorrow I'm going to create a bigger paddock somewhere else. The dogs are all happy, munching away on something. Probably, uh, it looks like, uh, I'd say bears found the carcass of a rabbit a fox left or something. What are you eating, bear? Bear. Yeah, that looks like that's a bit of bone. That's from a dead something. Yeah, the others are all eating it as well. I'll leave it to you. It's not a cooked bone, so it won't shatter inside of you. Oh, Maya's stealing it now. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to create a paddock in that field for the horses tomorrow and move them. So I only want them in here for a brief period like 24 hours and allow that all to grow on over there so i'm going to put a fence across here and leave them out here till tomorrow so it's looking very barren the last hay paddock that i sowed and i just wanted to check if there were any seedlings coming up and lo and behold there's sanfoin there's clover there uh more sanfoin, grass, a dandelion, all beginning to come up through the, oh look, there's a bit of salad burnet. That's a salad burnet there. So things are beginning to come up. Oh, I think these are chicory. That's chicory, that's chicory. So, oh look over here, loads more chicory. There's, there's, Sanfoin, chicory, clover, uh, salad burnet, or no, that's a, no, that's more sanfoin. There's yarrow. So 
loads of stuff is germinating, but only since the rainstorm yesterday and the day before. So this definitely will need to have a long rest for it to recuperate, but that's because of the weather. And that's why I paddock graze, so some areas can rest all summer long. And hopefully we will have a wonderful crop of diversity in this paddock. This fence goes all the way up there, so it's a long rectangle. And the horses winter grazed all this section. So that's what I'm hoping to establish. So I've divided this field up into one, two, three paddocks temporarily. And it's going to be four paddocks because I'm going to put a fence across here. Uh, now I'm loading down the fence posts. Oh, what are you doing? You got grass seeds. Silly pup. The dogs are still enjoying that little bone. I'm quite ready for you yet. I'm still taking down the separating area. Now, if I do that, she's gonna gallop past. Woohoo! And she's gonna follow. Woohoo! Wasn't quite ready for that. <laughs> they snuck. I didn't call them or anything. Ooh, good dogs. Now, I don't know where Miss Daisy Rose is. She's taking her own sweet time, but I'm gonna finish taking this apart. Daisy Rose didn't follow them. Look, we might have more rain by the dark clouds. Gotta get through this electric fence. It's not on. Come on, Miss Daisy Rose. No, you can't go that way. You have to go the long way. Look, they've really munched down to the ground, but that's the recent rain. It'll probably all pop, pop back to life. And there's a lot of clover in there. Come on, lady. Atta good girl. Inca, leave it. Brindle, 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 Brindle. Brindle, leave her alone. Kind of slightly confused. How do I go and get to them? There we go. Inca, wait. She's figuring it out. I hope. I hope she doesn't go through the fence. I hope she goes round. Because the electric's not off, so she'll then think, oh. I can get to that juicy bit right there on the other side where nobody's grazed since January. Oh, the other horses are galloping through, letting her know that they're missing her. Oh, there we go. I think she's Goodness gone over me. the brow of the hill. Brindle, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. They came to collect Miss Daisy Rose. Woo! Brindle, Brindle, I said leave it. There they go. All through the little gap. Miss Daisy Rose following as fast as her little legs can carry her. They're all gone. So they went to collect, came to collect her. <laughs> 